All right, well, this is a video I've been asked for more than anything. Let's review the iDig. So I'm not gonna go over how to set it up. Sorry, the yard is trashy right now. Uh, and excuse how dirty the machine is. We have been balls through the wall lately. So I'll go over this real quick. Here are the sensors. Here's one here. When you do install them, they just snap in very easily. Like that. There's one there. There's one on the dipper. Typically these sensors go on the outside of the dog bone down here for the bucket. But Kubota isn't flat. So you aren't able to do that. So I had to put mine on the inside. On the setup video from 4K Equipment, which is where I bought this, uh, great guy. Talk to Ralph if you have any questions on setup. Uh, I've had several questions. But on the video, it explains how to do that part of it. Uh, the setup is fairly easy. It is kind of hard to get it, uh, get it dialed in. There's a manual and then there's a wizard setting to set the bucket to where it, it gives you the correct depth. I played with mine a bunch of times, uh, probably 20 times until I got it right. I did both, just mess with that. But I'm not gonna go over the setup because I'm not even, that's that's another video that I'll put down in the, the uh, description here for 4K um, and buy it from 4K because they're great. I don't even know where else you can get it, but 4K was great for me. So let's get in here. All right, so first and foremost, let me go over the things I do not like. One problem I've recently started having is that sensor that's down there on the bucket because it is on the inside of that dog bone uh, so these sensors are charged solar because it's down there on the inside of the dog bone obviously there's mud there's all kinds of stuff that gets all caked up down there that sensor gets covered and it hasn't been charging so we'll go to start a job and then all of a sudden that sensor isn't reading it's because it's dead so what i've been doing the past week or so after talking to ralph at 4k again shout out ralph I've been taking that sensor off on Friday, leaving it out so that I can charge that. And then we'll bring, it's good to go and there's no issues. That's not the biggest issue. And if you don't have a Kubota, you can put it on the outside and you're good. Second thing I do not like. So this monitor, it mounts. For me, I have an enclosed cab, so it has to mount to the window. If you have an open cab, you'll have the bar here. You'll be able to put it there, no problem at all. And you can skip this part of the video. But for the window, I bought this. I, I found this on Amazon. It is a double suction cup ram mount. It has worked fantastic. What came with it is a single suction cup ram mount, kind of like what's over here on this GoPro. And the dust and the shakiness of driving it, and it fell all the time. You'd open the cab up and this thing is just laying in the floor. Uh, after all the time I've had it, I still haven't cleaned the wires up. Um, this also comes with it and it was all good, but it was in the way of my window. I had a lot of trouble finding a good spot for this monitor, but this is a good spot for it. And this, du this dual suction cup is great. It has not moved. Down here, you have the indicator if you're high or low. Uh, it comes with this suction cup. It does fall off. Just. It's not as big of a deal. It's easy to just pop right back on. and uh, So that's not a big deal. Other than that, honestly, I haven't found a, I haven't found anything else I dislike about it. I will say this, if, if you're a septic guy watching this video, uh, I personally sometimes find that it's quicker and more efficient to have a guy in that hole with a grade stick grading my drain field bottoms. Installing a septic tank, I couldn't ask for anything better. Last week we did a job that I don't think we would have got the tank in with a man holding a grade stick. It was just too dangerous. Um, we were losing the hole quick. And because of this iDig system, we were able to get it in. It wasn't super quick, but we did get it in safely. And that's a big deal. And it is, it is good for drain fields, but I just feel like it's, uh, it's a little better to have a man kicking some dirt around. Uh, that's me personally. Everybody's got their own preference and maybe you're watching this and you don't do septic, so it doesn't matter. All right. Also, you can pick which part of your bucket is catching. I want mine in the left corner because you can see that down there. That's 
where it is. I'll set this laser. Boom. Wrong one. My bad. You hit zero. It's whatever grade. And then you're going to try to do this with one hand and it's going to be very hard. Alright, so look. You lift it up. The sensor will also read green. And then it'll go through the settings, boom, I'm back. Now, say that I was digging, I got, I need to back up, so I'm gonna move. Now the machine's in a different spot, sitting differently than it was to re-catch the laser, boom. And Excavator idle down so the hydraulics are slow. It's gonna count down, boom, stabilize, and you're back at it. It's that quick. Now, if you want to do it without a laser, let me delete the laser option. You can use this. I'm at zero, so I want to stay at that grade. There we go. Now, the problem with that is if you move to a different spot to re-catch that exact same grade you're gonna have to be able to reach that grade there so if you're 15 feet away you're not gonna be able to catch that if you're look, working in a really small area you could do that no problem but you're gonna the laser in my opinion is the way to go you can do slopes uh, you can measure over here you can measure distances with it from side to side I measure my drain fill holes every once in a while with it Another thing I really like is it'll let you know how level you are side to side. That bucket, if I was way off, will be tilted. If I'm level, it'll tell you. But you can also, these here, that's my side to side. So if that was at zero degrees even, I'd be level. Uh, I'm lying, that's my front to back. Clearly it says that, my bad. Here's my side to side. So I'm 0.5. 0.6 degrees off side to side and if you see this I'm going to try to get a I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this alright see the green that means that's level it's very hard to do this I set, I set my hole for 12 inches below I know I said 24 before I did 12 inches you see I'm I'm green, I'm at grade here now. And you just pull back. Digging completely at grade. Getting a little deep there. There are sounds on there, so if it doesn't drive you absolutely nuts, you can get the sounds. I don't like them. Uh, turn them off as soon as I started using it. But overall, I absolutely love this purchase. I get asked all the time, comments and, and DMs and stuff, how I like it. Uh, sorry, my radio is missing. Uh, I get asked all the time in comments how I like it. I love it. It's definitely worth the money. It isn't cheap. It's def it's an investment for sure. But I can't tell you how much time this has saved me. Uh, and you know, we everybody goes through the period where you can't find any help. Nobody wants to work. This thing replaced a person. So now. You know we we're able to do more with less and I I love it uh, it is around 10 grand new so it's very it's not cheap at all but uh, that's less than an employee a year and it never calls in so I mean overall would I recommend this absolutely to anybody who is on an excavator for a living you want to save time uh, time is money especially for us small companies uh, I have to go estimate estimate jobs when I'm done with this stuff. I'm not at that level yet where I have guys just out doing everything. Um, so it saves me a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of headache, and safe. It makes my septic tank installations safe. Uh, and that's the biggest part for me personally. It's definitely worth the money. It is uh, very easy to use. Uh, you know, you go through the the monitor you find all the settings and the different uh features and you figure that out pretty quickly if you're a smart guy girl um 
it is not quick and simple to install um, it's quick and it's simple to put those sensors on it is not simple to dial the bucket in in my experience you're gonna have to do it a lot for every different bucket you have you're gonna have to do uh, put that in let me show you that real fast all right so if you go here here's all the buckets I hope this review was decent when I was trying to buy it um, I have the 2d system by the way if I didn't already say that um, but when I was looking to buy it man I couldn't find any decent reviews or review videos I couldn't really find a lot of information on it at all um, the installation video from 4k is good but you really even that you have to watch it and listen to little things they say because they just say it they don't stop and and explain that um, I've told you what I don't like which nobody has did on videos at all um, I don't like that they tell you to put it on the inside of the dog bone but don't mention they may not get sun and that they have to be at least 60% charged to to work right I think that's probably it um, if I missed anything comment a question and I will absolutely if I can I'll answer it uh, but yeah leave a comment let me know uh, if you were on the fence I can ask I can answer whatever questions you might have so I appreciate you guys watching uh, subscribe check us out thank you guys bye